This is one of those things that uh, you really like to see when you come back to an area. This is my dirt hole that I had set uh, about two weeks ago. And you can see that the coyotes and some coons, I see some coon tracks, but you can see the coyote tracks, coon tracks, and it even looks like a fox track in there. So that's really cool right there. If you uh, come back into an area and look at your sets and they have uh, basically a hole dug to the center of the earth, that's probably a positive uh, reinforcement that you're on location one and you have some critters that are gonna work your sets for two, but just uh, awesome area. We showed you this, we caught that gray fox right there that I let go uh, a couple weeks ago. We're right on the shores of uh, Big River here, but just uh, awesome area. Um, the one thing I like about this set now is that Every animal that worked that set knows that's there. And they're gonna be coming back through. Um, you got a coon track right there, a coyote track right there. It looks like a fox track there. There's another coyote track. But you can see how they have that just bore down. And uh, that's a positive. So we're gonna throw some more in here. And I'm gonna reset this. I'm gonna reset the one over there. But ultimately, uh, it's nice to come in and see that uh, they're still working the set. Well, we've got the other set in here. This is where we had the gray fox that we let go a couple weeks ago. And you can see that we've got that blended in nice. That hole was dug out really, really well also. Couldn't really see a lot of tracks because of all the corn stalks and grass that's around. But it was dug out down to the center and just a really good place. Um, really you know this has been a spot for 40 years me and my dad have come to and right along this big creek you can see and comes right down along this edge i'm actually happy that the farmer hasn't cut the corn yet because that'll keep them working this edgeway and coming down through but uh just an awesome set and you can see we got it made for the next contestant that comes down the road we're gonna get down i'll show you what that first set looks like that we uh, put in um, a couple weeks ago we caught a coon right on that corner right there I'm gonna put another DP there and uh, just the animal traffic's gonna be through here obviously with the way that uh, they were dug out I fully expect to have something here working these sets in the next night or two but uh, there we go that's what that set looks like. You can see how I've got it blended in there with the corn right on this edgeway, working down through. Just a really good travel way. And uh, we got the Duke 550 buried in there. Hopefully uh, we'll catch a coyote. If we catch another fox, we're probably gonna let it go here. He, uh, he likes his foxes and those 550s as we showed you many a times are very friendly uh, to a fox, especially with a 24-hour check wall here in Pennsylvania. Animals hardly in a trap more than six hours, eight hours max usually by the time I get here because I check these early in the morning. But just an awesome spot right along this big creek, working up these edgeways. And you can see that we've got the set made exactly how we want it. So hopefully we'll come back in here and have something to show you. North American Trapper has got you covered when it comes to essential trapping baits and lures. When you're moving soil out of the field, know that you're getting the best sense available with the North American Trapper's line. Go to NorthAmericanTrapper.com today and explore the mountain man in you. Email us today for a free catalog to browse all of our traps and snares, baits and lures, and much more. Get all of your trapping and predation control needs by emailing to info at NorthAmericanTrapper.com for your free catalog. Proven products equals proven conservation.